Hi there guys and welcome to the next Trapdoor Tribute video where I'll be uh, showing you how we're going to make the Master's Eyeball from the episode, um, the Trapdoor episode, not very nice. <clears throat> um, okay, well, you might be wondering what this is. This is what we're going to be working with and this is a wooden ball <clears throat> it's a um it's a it's called a wooden craft ball with uh, you can get them with holes in so you can thread them into beads make a necklace whatever um or you can use them in craft which we're going to do in this video they're available on ebay and I recommend using a nice big uh, ball for this because um, the master is um, he's big he's a massive creature um, or so we have to assume from the size of this eyeball compared to Burke if you've seen the episode this is um, 75 millimeters in diameter if uh, you're interested in, in the size um, they come in a range of sizes from 10 millimeters um, up into up to 75 millimeters. Um, I haven't found one that's bigger than 75 millimeters, um, so I got the biggest one available. Right. Well, let's get straight into it. And um, I don't know if you can see there, but I've already begun sketching out the um, the detail. Um, this is the um, the reference photo I'll be working to, um, and as you can see, it's a kind of a yellowy, sort of pale colour, with um, with a black pupil, uh, a little bit of shine there, with a little bit of white, and it's um, he he's got red eyes, which kind of look quite creepy don't they um, and a little bit of green on the um, on the edge there and lots of um, blood vessels there which are going to be really fun to paint I'll just put that back Ooh. right this is um, one of Burke's pots that I have borrowed I thought it would be useful to stand the eye on to give it um, a little bit of height and a little little bit of a stand to work with okay what I'm what I've done as I say I've I've um, sketched it out in pencil it, I, I've used a very light pencil um, it's a hard lead but it's it's a very light light in shade um, and it's a 9H and what I'm going to do now is just with a a red um, an ordinary red pencil crayon I'm just gonna go over the um, the blood vessels um, before we um, actually come to paint this so hopefully um, what I'm hoping is that I'll still be able to see the red color come through um, uh, the paint job but uh, I'm experimenting a little bit so bear with me um, okay so I'm just gonna start coloring them in
as I say, I'm just hoping that this will show show up through the paint. Um, I've mixed a, a yellow ochre and a white with a touch of leaf green. But we will come to that in due course. There's two done already, so it's looking pretty pretty cool. Now this one. Just just keep looking at your reference photo if you if you're gonna use one. If you really want it to look like the one in the episode or if you just want to draw it any way you like that's entirely up to you it's actually a pretty cool episode um, And that I think that the animators did a really great job. They really, um, they really did a great job, especially when Burke is inside the the um, the what he thinks is a cave, but it turns out to be the creature, a massive creature's mouth. And how that creature didn't choke to death, I don't know, because because it had this eyeball plus Burke in its throat so it did really well to survive if you ask me just doing this little one here which is just floating around it's not it's not attached to the to that that to that bit it's, it's just floating around okay so we're nearly there we're about halfway there And I'm just hoping that this is going to show through when, when I add the first um, coat of paint to it. And it's a funny, it's a funny looking eyeball in a way because you can see the brush marks where they've painted it. Um, I don't know what the animators used. Um, I'm assuming it was some sort of wooden craft ball like, like like the one we've got here but um, it's just one of those trapdoor mysteries Okay, that's that one done. Just 
just I'm just uh, looking at the reference photo again, so I can get it nice and accurate. As as I am a perfectionist. Okay, we're nearly there, nearly ready for the paint job. Just one more to add, one more blood vessel. And it's a real mystery how him upstairs can see when it, even when his <clears throat> his eye is detached from his um, body but of course anything is possible in trapdoor and that's that's part of the fun of it if it made sense it it would just be boring Okay, this is the moment of truth when we uh, come to add the uh, the paint, and you just want a nice. I'll just move this out of the way a little bit to show you what you're after is a nice um, pale um, yellow ochre colour like this. Okay. Let's give it a try. <laughs> 